So what is up YouTube? YNF Kicks back again with another video. And I know I haven't really been posting videos like at all this year, but I really haven't been picking up too many things and it's been a while since I've done an entire sneaker collection. <clears throat> and I apologize like if I cough or anything on this video. I have like a pretty minor cold. But I think I have around 60, a little more than 60 pairs of shoes here. So let's get started. So the first thing we have is these Mickey and Friends Vans Authentics. Now I wanted to, to get like the whole Vans or like the whole Disney and Vans collab, but I never really like got around to it. The only ones I really want is the, uh, I think they're the Mickey and Friends Skate Highs or something like that. But yeah, these are pretty cool. Next pair we have is just the, just the standard black and white old schools. So pretty cool. I, and I do clean them. They're just pretty beat. Well, that's pretty dirty right now. Then we have the maroon and white skate highs. These are pretty cool. And we have the cocaine white skate highs. I haven't worn these in a while. I actually tried to like clean them with baking soda and soda and stuff. Kind of like um, Senico Head in the Bay. Like I followed his tutorial. And I just haven't had a chance to like put the laces in them. So yeah. That's why they don't have any laces. Next, like I don't wear skateboarding tubes at all. I did a long time ago, but I just haven't. I don't know. I will need to just, to just sell these, like multi-cuddled Zebra Nike SB Janowskis. I guess they're cool, that's not really fit my style anymore. And I have these Richard Showman Nike Lunals. Like the whole upples, like 3M, they're really cool. Like I don't watch football like that, but I, I saw these in a Nike outlet like two years ago and I knew they were 3M so I just wanted to pick them up. So to continue with the Disney Vans, these are probably my, my favorite pillow bands I think I have. They're Donald Duck. Like a Donald Duck's old school. Or a Donald Duck authentic. But then like they have like him cussing and stuff. I don't know. They were just really cool. Next we have a pillow of Asics. I really don't have that many pillows of Asics. And I, will, I, only, I only have two. But like I don't weld them that much. But Asics are pretty cool. They're pretty comfortable. It's Asics gel light threes. I don't know what the colorway of this is. But they're really cool. I like the, uh, the midsole. Then I have these gel light threes. It's like all green colorway. Really cool for like St. Pat Patrick's Day. They have like sprinkles on the insole if you can tell. But yeah, they're really cool. These are another pair of fans that I like a lot. But I just only, I don't really have any way to weld them. It's, it's just like for like nostalgia purposes. They're the old school Woody from the Toy Story pack. This is just so cool. They say Andy on the bottom, which is probably my favorite part. This whole shoe is inspired by like Woody's clothing. You guys can probably tell. I'm not gonna like go and like say it has like the checkered board like, or the plaid like inner lining. It's really really cool. I don't think I'm ever gonna weld them again, but I was gonna sell them at one point, but I just really can't because they'll I don't know, just a piece of my childhood. So these are really really cool. I actually got these for like $18. They're kind of big on me, but. It's a pair of all canvas Stan Smiths. I don't know. I just thought they were really, really cool. And for $18, you can't really go wrong. Next, we have a pair of Adidas tu Tubulars. I don't really know what the color way is. It's, it's just like a maroon burgundy and has like snake skin on the, like snake skin point on the back. I don't know. I think they're like $40. And as you guys can probably tell, like nothing in my collection is like really hyped up. Now, I do have like... <laughs> one pair of hyped up shoes, but that's about it. These I beat quite a lot. Like, they're just dead to me. Basically, like an Adidas Roshi one. The Adidas ZX Flux. I think I paid like $40 for these. These I do get a lot of well out of them. Even though, like, tubulars are dead. I don't know. I just like the look of these. Like, tubular weaves. It's like really, really cool. Kind of like has like the 80s, like the 80s style shoe. I don't know. This is probably one of the most, like, WTF pills of shoes I have in my collection. Like, I don't know why I bought these. I think these were, like, my first pair of Adidas shoes. Adidas SL Loops, like, they just look like water shoes. I don't think I'm ever going to wear them again. But I think they were, like, $20 on finish line, so I got them. Yeah, I don't know anything else to say about those. These are kind of cool. I got I got them because of Tony D2 Wild. Adidas radio, tubular radios or something like that. They're pretty cool. Like, the stitching started to, like, come, up, come out of them. I don't think I'm really going to weld them that much. But, yeah, they're cool. 
Then everyone knows what these are. My most hyped up pair of shoes that I have. Most expensive pair of shoes that I have. I was actually lucky enough to get these for retail off Adidas. Adidas Yeezy 350 Oxford Tan. I really don't wear these that often. Like, they're not really cracking at all. Like, the paint's not. But I've only worn these like five times. This is probably my grail. I've been thinking about getting rid of these just because of like how much they go for. But I can't do it. Then we have another one of... I, I wear these probably a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Adidas NMD and it's like wool. It's just like black wool. So this pair of shoes is pretty cool. It's the Nike Air Max Flynet. I think retail on these was like 220. Let's see. So we told them these was $225 and I got them for $90 at an outlet. I wear these quite a bit. They're just pretty comfortable. This pair of shoes is just cool. Like, I don't like basketball shoes anymore. Like, I'm out of that phase, but these are just cool. Uh, Nike LeBron 12 Cork. Just really cool. I just like how the whole up was Cork. And I overpaid for these, so I just really can't get rid of them. I could probably wear these. I should wear these tonight. Today. Huh. Because I'm going out. Uh, LeBron 12 Easters. Again, another pair of shoes I wanted to sell, but I really can't sell them because they're going for too low right now. They're pretty cool. Uh, Nike Free Run Flynet. I don't know. They're pretty cool. Nothing more I can say about them. LeBron 12 Double Helix. Like, when I bought these, I didn't realize they were pink, and that's, like, the whole thing that, like, really sells me on these right now. Is that they have that some pink on them? I was super pumped when I caught these on a Wii stock like two years ago, and I've worn these like a lot. I will really need to get a new pair. Nike Flyknit Waste Oreo. I think this is a 2.0 Oreo, if I'm not mistaken. It's a really, really cool shoe. Really clean, goes with a lot. These are probably one of my most flashiest shoes, I guess you could say. The Born 12 What the. I just really like these. I got them when I was in Hawaii, which makes me like them a little bit. So these shoes were like super, super hyped up a while, like when I bought them, but everyone has them now, so not really. Hawachi, triple white, cocaine, whatever you want to call them. Pretty cool. It's a basic, what, like $110 shoe. Yeah, we thought, we thought it was 100 so. Yeah, I don't really well them because everyone has them, but. Here's a shoe that, another example of just buy it to make your collection bigger. Hypo Fuse, and it's like Volt colorway. They're super ugly, basketball shoes. It's like something like a 6th grader would well to say they have heat or something like that. I don't know. They were like $30. I really just need to get rid of them or donate them or give them to one of my friends. I don't know. They'll be gone soon. <laughs> so this is another pair of shoes that I was like, let me just buy, blah, blah, blah. They're pretty dirty. I haven't worn them in a while. Just a regular pair of free ones. I don't know. So these are really, really cool. I just like the color combination with these are. Uh, the Jordan 11 Low Closing Ceremony, Closing Ceremony Gold Coin, whatever. That is like gold metallic, just shines. This shoe is gonna, like, I really want it out of my collection, but they're so beat. No one's gonna buy them, so I'm just gonna go ahead and beat them all summer long so I can throw them away. This is the Pell Voshi ones. They're dead. I know. They'll be beat. I got these in Golf Shoals, Alabama at a Nike outlet. Just a, just a pair of L Max 90s. I really like the color combination. They're kind of dirty. Need to clean them. I wear these quite a lot. Um, Fly Knit Chuckers. I really like the color combination. The only thing I don't like is that like yellow strip, like pull tab that's on the back. But And if you guys can see some kind of rotation, I do beat a lot of my shoes. Like, these are really beat. Like, they need to be cleaned. But. Uh, Flyknit ones, really, really nice colorway. The mids are super, super dirty. I was looking for this shoe so long, and I went to Hawaii, like, 2014, and they had these. This is this is a shoe that's never going to go out of my collection. Just because of, like, like, memories. LeBron, 10, Volt, Tennis Ball, whatever you want to call them. I love these things so much. Like, I beat these things in, like, ninth grade. I haven't really, I haven't worn them that much since then. But they're just like too bright, but I love them. Uh, Jordan 6 Low Chrome. I really, really like these. Bull made a video on these a long time ago. And but after his video, I knew I just had to go and cop them. I even changed them from like the flat laces to like the oval laces. 
just to give him like more of that like uh, OG feel. So here's my last pair of Jordans. Jordan Retro 3 Wolf Grey. I really, really like these. The box on these is just trash. I contemplated like throwing the box away, but I didn't. I wore these quite a bit too. I wore these the other day. Yeah, these need to be cleaned. Really bad, holy crap. Uh, Nike Flying It Plus though. A super, super clean colorway. I really want the, with want the like, old Wolf Grey pair of these, but I'll get them one day. Last summer, I beat these, like, a lot, but put life back into them, clean them. They're all good now. LeBron 11, a graffiti. I really like the, like, foam posit, hyper posit, whatever you call it, upper. You can, like, withstand anything. Like, I went hiking in these, and they're still pretty much, they look brand new, so. It's the pair of shoes. I think I've only worn once. Don't know why I bought them. I wanted to get the Nike SBs. I didn't, so... Nike SB High... I don't know, like, Rainforest or something? I don't even know. I'd easily sell these for, like, $50. <laughs> $50 in shipping. Like, if anyone wants these, like, message me on Instagram or Twitter. I don't know. I'll sell them for, like, $50 shipped. I really want to sell these. Like, I have way too many pairs not well them, but... KD7 Calm Before the Storm, KD7 Clearwater, it's a really, really nice shoe, and all of these KDs I got like under retail, or most of them at least, KD7 Electric Ill, these are pretty cool because like the positive on the back is like kind of reflective, this is my favorite pair of KDs I think I have, I haven't worn them in a while, KD7 Aunt Pauls, these are super clean. Like, really, really clean. <laughs> I don't know. So this is my second favorite pair of KDs. KD7, what does? I overpaid for these a lot. Got them off Flight Club. Really wanted to buy something off Flight Club. I over, overpaid for these. Like, like I just said, a lot. But I love them. So, KD7 Eggnogs. Hey, I could weld these tomorrow. KD7 Easters. Really, really bright, vibrant colorway. But yeah, if you guys want any pairs of these KDs besides the Aunt Pauls and the What Does, you can message me on Instagram or Twitter. I'll let them go cheap. I'll let, uh, as a bundle deal, I don't know, you can take all of them for like $300. I don't know, something like that. Sh and plus shipping. KD6 Ligals. I haven't worn these in forever. They were a great shoe. I just, I don't know. Kind of uncomfortable. So, that's why they really haven't been worn. So, here's the last pair of KDs in my collection. It's a really, really nice concept. KD7 All-Star. Really, really cool shoe. I like how the deposit in the back just shines. So we're almost done. I think I have maybe 15 more pairs of shoes left. So let's get into it. I don't have a pair of Ultra Boosts, so these are like the next best thing. 2017 Pure Boosts. I wear these things like crazy. Like, if these are this comfortable, I can just only imagine what Ultra Boost are, how comfortable Ultra Boost are. Uh, Pure Boost, Oreo, super, super comfortable. These literally get worn probably twice a week, three times a week. So these I just got yesterday. They're not really my size. A little too big, but for the price I got them for, up oh, there goes the receipt. So... Nike Presto, I don't know, like bright purple, something like that. As you can see, it says they were $80 or so. I wasn't going to buy anything, and I just happened to check these before, before I walked out of the store. $40. Like, a little bit too big, but for $40, I can make it work. Like, I really like the gray outsole, how it, like, complements the purple upper. This is really, really nice. Here's a pair of shoes I haven't worn in a while. Probably won't, but oh well. Nike... Elmax, Janowski, I don't know, like Zigzag or something. Maze. It's a, really cool, it's a really cool concept, but just not for me anymore. It's another pair of Prestos. I wore these quite a bit. These, these ones are actually my size. <laughs> um, I don't even know what you would call these, but this is such a clean colorway. Like, just the white and the blue. That's it. Just a really, really nice colorway. This is going to be a perfect summer shoe. So I have one, two, three, like six pairs of Vans here and a couple of pairs of Nikes and a pair of Converse's. So this is the last of my sneaker collection. Let's get into it. 
Blue denim, Vans Authentics, Woody Woody Cool. Well, acid wash denim, not blue denim. Coke Vans, Woody Cool. Pineapple Vans with skulls on them, Woody Woody Cool. These are cool. I haven't worn them in a bit, like a, a lot. Like, like Indian Reservation, Tribal, I don't know. Vans Authentics, Woody Cool. Like TVs and stuff on them. Just not a summer shoe, more of like a fall shoe. This pair was my favorite pair of Vans I had for a while. It's like Vans Authentic Snake Skin. It's like this like leather-ish upper. Oh, there's a giant scuff on the back. I did not realize that until just now. But yeah, it's all really, really cool. Nike Stefan Janowski in this tie-dye colorway. These are super clean. I'm just never, probably never going to wear them again. I need to sell them or give them to someone. They're nice, but... I'm actually thinking about giving these to my dad later today. I haven't worn them in a while. Uh, I don't know. Air Force One Luno in this like camo colorway. They're pretty clean, just not my style. I cannot pull off L Maxes. My dad probably can. These I get a lot of wear out of. They came as a pack, as a pack, a red one and a blue one. I have both pairs. Uh, Vans Old School Red Gum. I really like these shoes like a lot. Two more pairs of Vans, a pair of Converse and a pair of Nikes. These are really cool. Like this just screams summer. Now I'm going to Panama City Beach, Florida. And this is going to have to be a pair of shoes I bring. Vans, Authentic, Aloha, Sofogol, whatever you want to call them. They have like one of those like dashboard Sofogols on them. Like they also have a navy pair of these, which I'm probably going to have to grab at some point. Like these are just super clean. This is a pair of shoes that's never going to get worn again. I don't know anyone who can really fit in these, but yeah. Just super. I don't like Converse's. Red, Converse Low, I don't know. Pretty beat. I might just, like, my dad's church donates shoes a lot for, like, underprivileged kids. I might donate these. I don't know. Last pair of hands, you guys. These are super clean. Whew. Vans from the gum pack. Blue gum. Old, old school. So I'm honestly not too sure if these are men's or women's. They were in the men's section when I bought them, but I also seen them online in the women's section but i really don't care it's a clean summer shoe nike free one photosynthesis they have like a floral pattern all over them really really clean 3m swoosh super lightweight i get a lot of compliments on them when i wear them so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed my entire sneaker collection i've been meaning to make this video for a while but just haven't got around to doing it and yeah, I know nothing's really hyped. Like, the most hyped thing I have, like I said, is my Yeezys. But I like mostly everything that I have. Besides a couple things, which I am trying to sell. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm not sure how long this is without editing it. I think it's going to be probably around a 20 minute video, maybe. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, like, subscribe. Hope you guys have a good day. Bye.